Hello, God bless you. Well, with every video I make, I give you the gospel message because the gospel message is the most important message that I can give you. Now, many people have different ways of giving you the gospel message. Personally, I like to go into detail, and this video will not be any different. But I hope to not overcomplicate the gospel message as I give you the gospel in the colors of salvation. See, you may not know Jesus today. You may not even want to know him. You may be playing games with God today. You may intellectually know who Jesus is. And you may know what he did on the cross. But when hard times come, you don't run to Jesus for help because you don't know him personally. You don't take the time to talk to him. You don't pray. You don't read the Bible. Well, this message is still for you because I do not believe that you are here by accident. I believe you're listening to this video right now because the Lord has given you one more opportunity to get to know him today. And this may be your last opportunity because we don't know what tomorrow holds. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We could die today. This is why I want to introduce you to Jesus right now. I want to show you who Jesus is. I want to show you what Jesus did for your cross and what that means for you. So listen to these words. Accept the words of the gospel of what Jesus did for you. Apply the words to your life and allow the words to change you. The gospel, in a nutshell, is that because of the fall from Genesis chapter 3, sin entered the world. And sin creates a wall that separates all of us from God. And this is because all of us sin and fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, which means because we sin, not one of us is worthy of going to heaven. There is a punishment for sin. And because of our sin, we all deserve punishment. We all deserve to be eternally separated from God, which means we all deserve to be in hell. The screen is black right now because when you walk in sin, when you live apart from God, you are walking in spiritual darkness. And this applies to all of us. The Bible is clear that all of us are sinners in need of a Savior. Some people may believe that they don't sin, but the Bible is clear and the Bible says, if we say that we don't sin, then we are deceiving ourselves, and we are also calling God a liar. You see, whether you believe it or not, none of us can be good enough people. But here's the mercy of God. God loves you so much that God sent his son Jesus, who left his throne in heaven, and he became a flesh and blood human, 100% fully God and fully man. And Jesus lived a perfect sinless life, and on the cross Jesus became sin for us to pay for our sins, which means when Jesus was on the cross, he put our sins on himself like a garment. Jesus took the punishment for our sins because, as I've said, there is a punishment for sin. But we are the ones who sin. We are the ones who deserve to be punished. But instead of us being punished for our sins, Jesus, who was innocent of death because he never sinned, he took our punishment, the punishment we rightly deserve. Jesus took that punishment in our place. And this is why the screen is now red. It represents Jesus' blood because Jesus' blood on the cross is the ticket. Without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. And on the cross, Jesus paid the price for our sins. He took our punishment. Jesus' blood is what bought our ticket into heaven. Jesus' blood is what covered our sin debt, past, present, and future. Jesus' blood is what broke down the wall that separates us from God. Jesus' blood is what redeems us, bought us back, paid the ransom to free us from the power of sin, to free us from the eternity in hell. You see, we're all like a garment that is stained with sin. But when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, when you accept the words of the gospel, when you apply it to your life, when you allow the words to change you, then it's like you're put in a washing machine. You're washed clean with the precious blood of Jesus. You're washed white as snow. This is why the screen is now white. Because when you believe the gospel must and are saved, then you put on Jesus' righteousness like a garment. And now when God looks at you, he doesn't see your sin anymore. Now God sees Jesus. The gospel message is Jesus died for our sins, was buried, and rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you confess Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then you will be saved. Whoever believes in Jesus will have eternal life. Whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. And saved from what? Saved from an eternity in hell. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but by him. Jesus is the only way to get into heaven. Jesus is the door to enter heaven. There are not multiple ways to get into heaven, and no one else can save you. A preacher cannot deem you worthy. Your mom or dad can't confess that you've been a good person. Your works, your deeds cannot earn it. Salvation cannot be found in anyone else or anywhere else. Salvation can only be obtained by faith in Jesus Christ. And if you sincerely believe in Jesus and surrender your life to him, which means you're not just saying words, you're not trying to please someone, you're not looking for a get it a help free card, but you really do believe in who Jesus is and what Jesus did for the cross, and you truly want to live for him now, then you will be saved. This is Jesus' free gift of grace that he is extending to you right now. All you have to do is reach out and grab it. Just accept it today. Because you can't earn your way to heaven. You can't be a good enough person. You can't do enough good deeds. 
And when you stand before God, it's not going to matter how much you've given to charity or that you think I've been a good person all my life. I never robbed or killed anybody. Because our works, our deeds are not good enough to get us into heaven. It is by grace that we are saved through faith, not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works. Let's say man should boast this grace is an unearned gift. We cannot earn it. We do not deserve it, which means we cannot earn our way to heaven. We don't deserve to go to heaven. We do not deserve salvation. We don't even deserve for Jesus to come die for us. But God loves us so very much that by his grace, he made a way for us to be saved. He made a way for us to have fellowship with him. So accept Jesus' free gift of salvation, that free ticket into heaven today. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Accept the words of the gospel that you just heard. Apply the words to your life and allow the words to change you. Then instead of walking in darkness, you will be with Jesus in heaven, which is represented by the gold screen. Jesus promised that for those who believe in him, they will be with him in heaven, where there will be no more sorrow, no more sickness, no more pain, and no more death. And Jesus is offering you this free gift to be with him forever, right now. Right now, you can personally know Jesus for yourself. But one thing is for sure, and the Bible is clear. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. This is an offer you seriously need to consider right now. So turn to Jesus today. You do not have time to keep putting Jesus off. So if you don't know Jesus personally, please take the time to get to know him today while you still have the time. Because tomorrow may be one day too late. So whatever excuse you may be telling yourself right now of why you haven't came to Jesus yet. Maybe you're waiting until your children grow up and move out. Maybe you're waiting until your friends are secure in your life. Maybe you'll think you're good enough and you don't know what I've done. But whatever excuse it may be that you're telling yourself right now, do not put Jesus off any longer because there is no guarantee that you will live to see tomorrow. And if you die before you make the decision to come to Jesus, then when you stand before God, it will be too late for excuses why you didn't come to Jesus before. So turn to Jesus today while you still have the time. Today is the day of salvation. Now Jesus is offering you this absolutely free gift right now. And you're free to choose to accept this gift or reject it. The Lord is a gentleman. No one can force you to accept this free gift. But if you do reject this offer, mock at it or scoff at it. I want to be clear of the choice you're now making. The screen is once again black because you rejected Jesus' offer of salvation, which means you've chosen to live for yourself. And now you will remain in spiritual darkness until you see God face to face. And then at that time, you will be cast into hell, which I'm sorry to disappoint you, but hell is not like pop culture paints it to be. Hell is not sex, drugs, and rock concerts. Hell is a real literal place of suffering, torture, and torment, where the flame is never extinguished. Hell is described as utter darkness. And understand that this is a choice that you are making. God does not send anyone to hell. In fact, hell wasn't even created for us. Hell was created for Satan and the angels that fell. But you will be sending yourself to hell if you reject Jesus' offer today. And this choice you may make today will be your choice forever. Because either choice you make, you will live forever once this life is over. And it's your choice to make. Do you want to live forever in peace? Or do you want to live forever in torture and torment? But don't take my word for it. Don't seek anybody else's advice. Go to the source for yourself because no one on this earth has the answers. Whether it's the most famous preacher or the smartest person in the world, they don't have the answers you're looking for. So you ask Jesus for yourself if what I'm telling you today is true. So if you'd like to be saved, it's ABC simple. A, it meant you're a sinner in need of a Savior. B, believe in who Jesus is and what Jesus did for the cross. C, call on the name of the Lord. Just call out to Jesus today. Here's a sample prayer that you can pray if you'd like to be saved. You can say something like this, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. I'm sorry for my sin. Thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus to die for me. I believe you are the Son of God. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. I want to give my life over to you now. Come into my life. And in this prayer, you're telling God that you're sorry for your sin. You are telling God that you believe Jesus died for your sins. And you ask God to change you. But this ABC is a salvation and sample prayer. These are just templates. They're only an outline of what you could say to be saved. It's not a repeat after me. There are no magic words to be saved. In fact, these words are not even important. But if you want to be saved, it just needs to be a sincere prayer, a sincere cry out from your heart that you can't do this on your own, that you need a Savior. What you're doing is admitting you're a sinner in need of a Savior, in need of Jesus. You believe in who Jesus is and what Jesus did for the cross. You repent of your sins, which means you turn away from your sins. You're having to change your heart, a change your mind. And once you've made that confession of faith, seek Jesus every day. Pray to him. Just talk to Jesus like you talk to an old friend. Tell him everything that's in your heart. Don't hold anything back. And listen and allow him to speak to you. 
because Jesus will speak to you through prayer and when you read the Bible. And when you read the Bible, you get to know Jesus more and more every day. And it's so very important to read the Bible for yourself because the Bible, it will strengthen you and help you face any and every hard time that you're going through in this life. The Bible is our roadmap, our GPS, our lantern, flashlight, whatever analogy you want to use. But the Bible will help you to navigate through this crazy, ever dark world that we're living in. So read the Bible for yourself. Well, I pray you got something out of this video today. I pray that you choose Jesus today. And if you did choose Jesus today, then let me be the first to welcome you to the family. I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the clouds soon. Because soon, Jesus will come in the clouds and take us home to be with him forever. So look up our redemption's drawing nigh. Maranatha, which is a cry for Jesus to come take us home. Maranatha means come Lord Jesus. Let's go home.